Hey everyone, welcome back to part 3 on how to make a factory game in Scratch or factory tycoon game. I always forget that tycoon. But today we are going to be adding a character, so let's go and do that straight away. But before I do, I'm going to show you what we have so far. So we have this and um yeah, it goes really quick and the cash goes up by 1 so that is cool and i'm gonna stop that right now so let's go make our character so i'm just gonna make a circle Hold, press shift and then make a circle like that i'm actually gonna zoom in all right then i'm going to make a square Oop, don't hold down shift. Alright, like that. And now... Two legs. Alright. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make that backward. And same with this one. Now I'm gonna do some fill. So the pants can just be black, just like that. The body is going to be a uh, green will be nice, and the outline. And I'm just going to kind of make quick edit here. So, I'm going to pull this down, just like this, and same with this side, and just add that up. So, that's good. Now let's fill in the face. And we're just going to make it a kind of tan color. Not the best, but it'll have to do. Now we are going to make circles for the eyes. So once again, hold down shift. Make two circles. I'm just going to copy and paste that. So I have the same size. And then zoom in a little bit. Paste another one for the nose. And then I'm just going to make a mouth like that. And some hair wouldn't hurt. So let's go. Do some hair, maybe a little bit down to six. So let's do that. Put this up to six. All right, so just a little hair. Just like that. All right, now we can code. So we're gonna name this um, person shop, person shopping. Yeah, we'll do, do that. We'll just do person. So, yep, we're going to grab a one green flag clicked. I want to bring him here, so I forgot to add arms. Alright, I'm sorry this is taking so long, but gotta add arms. Like that. Alright, that was easy. So we are going to 
make a variable called level and what we're gonna do we are going to go in here and then set our level to one because we're on level one so we're gonna set our level to one and then if in this forever loop we're gonna actually grab in another forever loop so we don't disturb our cache counting if our level equals um one so we're just gonna grab level and then we want to switch costume to costume one so over here what i'm gonna do is one green flag clicked forever if and then i'll take another equal sign and i'm just gonna do the same if our level equals one then um we're going to put in a go to here and then grab an if and duplicate it because we want to go left and right so if key and another key so if left arrow key we'll start with the right so if our right and then here left then we want to change our x and I'll not set x we want to change our x by 2.5 and then just duplicate this and over here negative 2.5 so let's test that out as you can see that works just like that perfect just like that ooh something's happening here so um this happened before when i tried to make something so I'm going to name this movement. So instead of putting R A R R these two ifs, we're just going to put this movement in there. And in this movement, we are going to check if our keys are pressed. So now let's test that out. Still only works like that. So let's try moving steps. Move two steps. And then negative two steps. Now the reason I'm keeping that is because you don't know if this uh, is going to work. So this does not work. Move uh hmm. I don't know why this doesn't work. Maybe let's try to just um delete this and then put it in its own forever loop because sometimes that is the case. So, let's test that out. I don't know why it worked in the beginning. Oh, it's because of this. So, we're just going to um, not keep that in a forever loop. And just do like that. Actually, you know what we can do, which is better? Keep this forever loop. And instead of 
just our go to. We just want to set our x position, actually, our y position to negative 105. That works the same as this, except it's only doing this part. So, as you can see, this is not um, causing anything to go wrong here. So, that's good. And now our cache doesn't go up, and I know why. We need to put this in its own forever loop. As you can see, um, now it goes up, and then we just need to do that. All right, so that's good. So I'm just going to hide our level, and I'm going to, hmm, what else can we do? So it's already been 11 minutes. So, I'm going to make, um, another one of these sprites. So, I'm just going to duplicate this. And what I want to do is, I'm going to delete this. So first I need to take this out, just like that, and I need to make a new block called, uh, what is this going to be, um, let's see, hmm, oh yeah, we could do a disco ball, yes slash no, just like that, so, Cash is, um, we're gonna do, it's gonna be selling for 150, so we are going to need to change this to, um, 150, just like that, and make it a little bit smaller. And that is perfect. What I want to do is move this over here. So go to 134 and negative 29. And I get these numbers from over here, guys. So if you guys are beginners and you don't know where I get those numbers, they're over here. Just like that. So now... As you can see, it says candy machine. So I need to change that, and it's going to be called Disco Ball. Um, uh, let's do 10, $10 per set. Just like that and we need to put in this disco ball yes no then we want to change our cash by negative 150 and then let's see so obviously we need to delete this so delete and I'm gonna make a gray disco ball so like that I'm going to mm, add some colors Like that. Let's 
So just a couple of different colors, not too many. Just like that. And I'm gonna put this um well let's see where this one is. So I'm just going to start and then set our cash to 100. So that goes there. This one goes there. And then I'm just going to set it to 400. 400. And I need to go over here so that is 171 and um negative 105 and then change 20% by 10 so now we are going to test that out i'm not actually gonna play the whole game I set it to 400 there get that one all right so it goes up by three now let's get this one and indeed it does go up by 13 so that works i hope you guys enjoyed part three and in the next video i'm going to add a spinning wheel and a second floor so i'll see you then bye